So I know an unboxing video in this type of video is going to be pretty useless, but since I am normally a cannon shooter, I wanted to go over some of the specifics and initial impressions uh, when I do hold this camera, especially compared to some of the other cameras. So, seeing as how most of this will not matter, let's just go through this pretty quickly. All the manuals. And this is what we are interested in. We'll take a look at what else they have in here as well. Okay, so now that we have all of that out, let's take a look at what is really important. Um, when I look at the charger, first of all, it's uh, different to Canon. Canon plugs right into the wall. This one has a cable for it. Um, it. Yep, and it looks like it slides in there to lock the battery in. That part's pretty nice because the battery is actually locked in cable. Um, it's one more thing to port around. This is going to take up a little bit more room in my bag. But you would never choose a system over the cable. So let's take a look at what is inside. And here is a camera. Um, initial comparison. It is not nearly as wide as the 7D. Um, it does look like it might be a, a little bit deeper um, or maybe just the same. And it's probably a little tiny bit higher. When I hold that in my hand, it, it is a little bit different because if you notice here, the thumb grip goes almost straight up. And on the Canon, it kind of tucks over to the left and so when you hold it your hand is here or if you hold this your hand your thumb is just about straight up so I do see that as a pretty big difference in there when I do hold it it's it's a little harder to keep in your hand um, especially when jogging the wheel because that takes you off your grip on that but it is it is actually a little closer to where your thumb would naturally be than the Canon which um, although it keeps you gripped up when you're holding the camera to make adjustments, you do have to do this. And this is not anywhere close to where your thumb is during normal operation. So goods and bads with that. Now when we look at the buttons, uh, the zoom buttons have been moved, well not moved, but this is Nikon's layout. Uh, they're going to be over here on the left. Uh, don't have a problem with that. Except that those zoom buttons were also my AF on button and then um, my other function buttons and how I choose my focus points. So it looks like some of those buttons are not on this one. Um, also some are located up here. We have a pretty big cluster of buttons up here and I don't know that I like the lock button there. I feel like that might be easier to accidentally switch on and off than something like this um, where the lock button is way up here. So, we'll have to look at that and see how that is. Now, as far as these general observations, none of this is going to make or break a camera. You learn and adjust to the camera, and as soon as you spend some time with it, it's going to be uh, pretty nice either way. So, on the back, the screen is a little bit larger on the Nikon. It's the same size as is coming up in, or as is in the 5D Mark III. But I do believe the 60 actually kept the same 3-inch screen and didn't move to the 3.2-inch screen, which the Nikon and 5D3 have. So overall, the button layout is actually very similar on this. Now, this it looked like a D-pad from far away, but it actually feels more like the joystick, even though it has arrows on it. So I actually don't mind it at all. I thought I would. Um, now you don't have a secondary scroll wheel down here. Uh, instead, it's up here by your thumb. So, like I said, that's that's a little more um, ergonomic in in that that's where your thumb naturally is when you're holding the camera. Whereas on the Canon, you have to reach down here to do it. I haven't minded, but it is it is a little bit more of a reach than where Nikon does it. The unfortunate part of that is that there's not a lot that's keeping your thumb on the camera 
instead of just sliding off, especially when you're using the wheel. So you're probably going to want to hold this two-handed more often. The grip is nice. The overall feel, the rubber is great. Um, it, it feels pretty good. It doesn't have quite the feel of the 70. I think the 70 feels a little bit nicer. Now the 70 is magnesium alloy all the way around. This one is on the back um, and on the front, or not on the front actually, just on the back. 